Okay, the sounds of a skirmish alert you to a varl surrounded by half a dozen armed fighters. One man spots you and shouts, Leave us to our business. This varl killed my father without reason. The varl is about to respond when a man attacks. The giant swats the blade aside and silently watches for the next assault. Let us hear what the varl has to say. The varl shrugs, as if unconcerned, saying, This one's father and I had a business deal. He lied. Now he's dead. Lies? You murder him over a lie? You coward? The men wildly attack. And the Varl de uh, who deflects them well enough. But you're uncertain uh, how long he can keep it up. <sighs> Let's defend the Varl. Ivor, you say. We could use any Varl with a good sword arm, couldn't we? He nods, readying his weapon. The men immediately back off. Their, the prospect of fighting your entire army suddenly unappealing. They watch from a distance, shouting obscenities and then something about injustice. The Varl turns towards you. Didn't need the help. But if I'm going to travel, it may as well be in the company of other Varl. He falls in line with others and you return to travel. Plus one Varl. Plus five renown. Yay! Cool. I desperately need more of that. Especially when, uh, one renown is 20 food. We might actually want to rest or something. Okay. A well-tended farm with plenty of livestock draws the caravan's attention. Upon your arrival, the farmer and his workers stand defensively within plain sight. Crude weapons at the ready. Their crossed arms make their thoughts clear without a word. Uh. So we can invite them along. Leave them alone, or try and buy stuff. Let's see. Come with us, it's not safe here. You warn the farmer of the approaching dredge, but the man spits and says, This land is my life. I lose that, may as well be dead. The farm hands slowly nod their agreement, neither joining you nor lowering their weapons. Well, let's leave them alone. I mean, we got an okay amount of supplies now, so let's do that. What's his is his, you say to the caravan, no sense fighting those trying to protect themselves. Grumbling bounces around through the clansmen, but the caravan is once again moving. <sighs> it's weird. There's no music. It's too calm. Like, I understand kind of the point of not having music, but the music for this game is so good that I want the music constantly. Ah, there we go. Summoned it. Oh, another godstone. Probably? Hard to say, but god, it looks so cool. So pretty. Here's the question. Is that Varl in the back the new... The new Varl, the plus one? No, never mind, never mind. That's, um, Ymir or whatever his name is. The godstone of Merrick looms into view. Upon it carved a great ocean beast. Jagged stones jut out of the snow like shark fins. It's hard to imagine the Nordfelling wastes being filled with water at one time, but the Godstone stands as a reminder to the vast lake it used to look across. A blessing, shouts one of the men in your caravan, holding up what looks to be a silver coin. It's a fish scale, he says, pointing out the rainbow pattern that shows in the sunlight. Soon a curious child has found another hiding in the snow, and even a third is discovered. Perhaps they'll bring us luck, you overhear. And before long, the caravan has become obsessed with gathering the shining scales. Uh, let the caravan take their time. By the end of the second day, the scavenger hunt still continues unabated. And even though you are starting to feel something in the back of your mind, you like you need to have one of the scales, you shake it off, uncertain whether or not to let this continue. Let's let them continue the task. Task. It's another day before the fervor calms down, and you think there must have been something unnatural about it, because when the last scale was found, the obsession suddenly abated. On the next morning, one of the men presents a gleaming coat of mail to you. We made lists from the scales, he says, grinning. You graciously accept the gift, and the caravan gets back to travel. Okay, so we got God Scale. Cost me some supplies, but it does sound like it was worth it. Not to mention, I really wish it actually boost morale while we did things like that, but whatever. At least we got a nice uh, artifact to use for stuff. 
because I'm I'm kind of looking forward to the using that one. Okay, Oddleaf leave calls you over, grinning. A row of women holding bows of different age and experience line up before a row of trees in the distance. They fire, doing an impressive job of hitting the trunks. I think they're ready to fill the dredge, some dredge with feathers. One woman still ha hasn't shot her arrow. She stands perfectly still. The others watch. Just as the wind shifts, she lets go, and her arrow flies not into one of the trees, but a snow rabbit that had scurried out from underneath. Dinner, she says, smiling. A group of men from the caravan approach. Listen here, says one. Practice all you want. My wife isn't fighting the dredge. The other men agree in chorus. We don't want to see a battlefield full of dead wives and daughters. Uh, let's see. Encourage Oddleaf to train even more archers. To be honest, says Oddleaf, this was already harder than I expected. I don't know how many more people would really take to it. But the more people who can hold their own, the better. The men continue to complain, but the women return to camp. Not just as clansmen, but as fighters. Yay. That'll help. With, like, charges and stuff. Hopefully we won't lose too many. A woman's stifled screams fail to overly concern anyone. It was only a matter of time before the expectant mother gave birth. The caravan is simply excited, but the first sign of new life since the trip began. Let's call for, for a day of rest and celebration. Yeah, we probably have enough. When the baby's cries replace the mother's, the entire caravan cheers. You raise your drink to the family, saying, Tomorrow we rest and feast to strengthen long life. Again, everyone cheers. Glad to forget their worries for a small time. Yay, morale's back up, and we get a ton of renown. Oh, that was worth it. We are low on supplies again. Hopefully we get to another something. You hear a whistle on the wind and spot a long line of varl up ahead. Heading towards you, behind them is a swarm of dredge and a trail of bodies leading off into the distance. Get down there, barks Krumer. Okay, hopefully we can get some more supplies from these guys when they join us. Because <laughs> otherwise we're in trouble. Okay, don't let them spread out, shouts the lead Varl as you approach the battleground. Soon, you almost regret finding yourself fighting amongst them. Facing off against a daunting number of dredge. Okay, 120. We have Nidiscus Files. Uh, yeah, we're good. Charge. You consider taking your trusted allies, rush into battle. This will be fine. Uh, we got some extra renown. We've also got the god scale. Holy crap, this is really good. <laughs> Unfortunately, nobody's going to be able to use it for a little while, which sucks. Uh, but it's plus three armor and draws aggro, which is awesome. Okay, so. Uh, Eagle's been promoted. Oddleaf, no. Olet, no. Mogan, not yet. So, we could promote Rook. It'll cost 15. It's worth it, though. So, let's give him one damage. One damage and one energy. That seems like a good idea for him. Okay, ready for battle. That'll help, uh, especially in low morale situations, which I think we're going to be sitting with. Um... Interesting. It's a lot of slingers and stuff. Okay, so we're gonna put him there, them there. We've got a bunch of, we got a bunch of the slingers, which means, uh, we should probably plan on something like this. Because that way he can rush these guys. He can rush that guy. I guess he's got a bow, so it's not as important to rush in that manner. But this way, these guys will go up here. This should be easy enough. Okay! God, I really want to just... Rush him or whatever. Alright. It's fine. So you can shield break him. Or you can just hammer him as much as possible. Oh, wow. Got our willpower dropped so much. Oh, that's his own. Oh, right, he'd already moved too. Still, it's a good idea to take the melee down. Okay, so we can do seven to this guy. He's only got six. You know what? Seems a bit wasteful, but taking out an elite slinger seems like a good idea. Uh, let's see. Let's have Gil go up this direction. 
One of the achievements is for Gil to survive. So it does seem like investing in Gil a little bit is a bad move. Luckily, despite the uh, poor morale we're running with, uh, nice thing is... Uh, I got this horn. Horn's always a good sign. Oh, crap, he's got a thing. Just dumb bombs. Okay. Let's just move here, not waste anything. Ow! Okay. So these guys do a fair amount of damage. Luckily, no explosives. Which is good. Forces him closer to the other guy. Okay, this is good. We're gonna want to move uh, Ivor over here. Seems like a good idea. Let's just do seven damage to him. I could do it another way, but I think this is acceptable. Uh, the archers deal with the archers. This works out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, that exploded a little bit faster than I wanted it to, but that's fine. Let Gil kill this guy. Should probably let Ivor get a kill, admittedly. Not letting him do so is a bad move. Okay, she's going down, but that's not a problem. So we can do... Damage. No. We'll take shields off this guy. That way, at the very least, we don't deflect the shot. Okay. So this guy's got three. Move here. Attack. Four. There we go. So far so good, and we, he gets a promotion. Admittedly, we're mostly hurting for renown for the time being. Which sucks a bit. But I think we'll be okay. Luckily, most of my enemies are useless. It's actually rather refreshing. Okay, this guy only has six HP. Yeah. Well, Rook will be able to level up. Probably the soonest end of anybody. He did a lot of damage. You take a moment to survey the battlefield. The enemy is being pushed back all the way down to the line. Uh, you could take this opportunity to pull back and leave combat immediately. On the other hand, chasing down more dredge would rally your fighters. Save a few lives. You won't have time to rest or change your party, but a chance to loot your enemies might reveal items. Yes. Let's kill a few more. We're in a pretty... Oh, God. This might have been a mistake. We've taken some hits here. Alright. When in Rome. Oh, shit. This would have actually been a prime time for me to, um... Oh, sweet Jesus Christ. This is a very elite group. I should not have done this. Alright. Armor. Motherfuck. Why, why is this group just so much harder? Alright, we're in trouble. Maybe not. Yeah, I could have, I could have rushed him. But yeah, this is all like three, four, four star people. Okay. Bloody flail. Take some armor off this guy. Oh god, why? I'm like ultra boned. Oh man. I think this might actually be the first battle I lose. Ivor. Okay. So here's what we're, we're gonna do. I realize... Nope, that's Stonewall. Let's not do Stonewall. Let's attack this guy. Shield break. Does he have any energy? He does. I might have a way of defeating Big Man on campus. Okay, so let's do this again. Bloody Flail. Flail. 
Okay, this worked out. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll be okay. Luckily, most of my enemies are dumb. Okay, so we need to we need to take this guy out. I do a lot of damage. If I take out the big guy, we're okay. Maybe. Got him open. Oh right, we got a we got a crit from that. Okay, let's use this horn. Keep limiting them down. I'm incredibly lucky here. Okay. I wish I could get over there, but no dice. Alright, I'm just gonna keep using bloody flail on most of these guys. Surprisingly reasonable, honestly. Okay, uh, let's see. So, armor, armor. We could just kill this guy. We could do nothing. Wait, whose turn is it? Yeah, it's hers. Okay. I think we're gonna have to move just because. Yeah, here, I may, archers can't fire into melee. Gotcha. How much HP does she have? Fair amount. So let's have her tank for the time being. Let's kill this guy. And then there were two. How the hell did we win this? I mean, we might not. Yet. Okay, so he's got six. Okay, who's missing armor the most? You are. Give him a point. Mark prey. Ah, shit. She doesn't, he doesn't get the piercing shot. Alright. Oh, this is fine. We got Shield Breaker Stan here. Which is good. Because that'll give her some serious bonus damage against him. Okay, so he's go. He's not dead yet? No, he's gone. Okay, he's not dead yet, which is great. And he's just going for my armor. Perfect. Okay. Boost that damage up. Hopefully, Gil will be able to take him out the rest of the way. Woo. Tactics, man. But admittedly, I think a lot of this is a hell of a lot easier because I'm playing it on easy. I'm okay with that, though. I'm literally too stupid to do this on any other difficulty. Probably. This has been a long night. Oh. What? Can he not boost his attack in any way, shape, or form? Oh. I guess let's just keep bloody flailing him. Worked out. Actually, quite well. So let's move over here. We should be able to just take him out the rest of the way. Pew. Wow. How did we win that battle? I don't know, man. Oi. Well, we get a lot of renown for it. Oh, it's Fassel! Isn't this a damn curiosity? This is the second time I've been sent to find a Varl who's heading in my direction with humans in tow. What are the dredge doing up here? Gods, does nobody know what's going on around here? They leveled Grofheim to the ground! We've been losing ground for days. Jorinder's in Einertoft now. They sent me to gather Krumer and the rest from Wormtoe when we ran across this bunch of slag. And there's a lot more th where they came from. Is this all the varl you've got, Krumer? What have you been doing? Eating each other? Many went to Blotzbelker. Are you telling me Grafheim is completely gone? And Vognir's dead. Slag on our heels. The varl you sent off north are probably dead. The world's ending. Come on, this is old news. We're gathering in Einartoft. That's where we need to go right now. Wait. Fassel takes a long moment to look over the caravan of men, women, and children behind you. Not them. Uh... Okay. So...
Is he just going to say no? I... Uh... I mean, I assume it's nothing. I just really want to get, uh... I want to join his proper, like, party proper. Blech. Okay. Well, you know what? Uh, we just saved your ass. Little one, you have no idea how much slag I've butchered in the last few weeks. I don't get in fights I can't win. That includes men who invite themselves into Einertoft. Damn it, Fassel. Who cares about that? What in the depths happened to Graufheim? Before Fassel can reply, a low rumble grabs your attention, growing louder by the moment. Oh, this isn't good. Even though it is beyond sight, all eyes turn in Graufheim's direction as the rumbling becomes deafening, transforming quickly into a cracking and splintering. It's coming closer. Go, shouts Fassel, taking off towards Einertoft. Don't stop until you reach Had Hatterborg. Uh, they just dropped a mountain. Oh. They didn't drop a mountain. They're dropping multiple mountains. That's a very big snake. Okay. Things have happened. They seem like bad things. Fairly incredibly bad things. And I'm just waiting for the snake to come up and end the game for me. That'd be nice. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. That'd be awful. When Banner Saga 2 takes over and we're just playing as... something. I don't even know what it would be. Apparently this game's part of a trilogy. Which is cool, but... Oof. another godstone oh wow that was our last supply <laughs> okay we're probably gonna need to buy a lot more oh god but we need promotions too but I might get some extra uh, I might get some extra Jarls here okay after three terrifying days of tremors you reach the godstone of Hatterborg which is teeming with Varl who want to know what's happening Others busily make men sh mend makeshift defenses set up around the godstone of Hatterborg, the creator of the Varl. Oh, Varl, not Jarl. Hold up, pants fastled between long gasps of air. We're gonna have a talk. You're still standing, well, most of you. Rest up, and then move on. The mountain just sank into the earth, and some something is out there, and you're just gonna send us away? I don't know who you are, but you're not going to Einertoft. There's a couple hundred Varl here who will back that up. Where are we supposed to go? Back the way we came? We're stuck between two mountain ranges. In one direction, a few thousand Varl, and the other an army of dredge, and whatever caused that quake. Einertoft is a Varl city. This shouldn't be news to a Varl. Give it a rest, Fasolt. Don't you recognize who you're talking to? Surprise suddenly flashes across Fasolt's face. The other Varl are starting to come closer now. You hear Ingvar being whispered between them. I think this might be the one person you want to let into Einertoft. You're... The humans come with me. All of them. Fassel glances between Ivor and Krummer. Krummer, I don't know. Before stalking away, pushing past the mob of curious onlookers. Ivor, who are you? Some other time, Rook. You spend the rest of the day recovering. Varl, come and go in packs and most of the chatter is about the quake that just sank the mountains into the earth. Or the dredge that are still on their way. You hear rumors that a massive chasm opened where the earth split. Inspect the godstone. Uh, let's see. Inspect the godstone. The little you know about Hatterborg is that he was a disciple of the Loom Mother and learned to create under her guidance. He created a few beasts, but soon became bored with simple animals and began combining man and beast, ending up with the Varl. That's the myth, anyway. One thing is certain. Each Varl alive today was created by Hatterborg. And now the god is dead. The Varl here, now, are the last ones you will ever that will ever exist. A profound sadness washes over you. Krumer is already here. It is good to pay respects, he says. 
and you both stand there in silence. Give this to Ingvar, he says, turning to leave. It was once his, and that stubborn ass refuses to take it back. Gruber hands you a massive, studded belt. Suddenly, there's a lot of activity. Word comes from below to retreat to the next village over, and you soon see why. A black shadow is sweeping down the valley from the direction of Grafheim, where the quake, or whatever caused it, has obliterated the mountainside. On closer inspection, it is a veritable ocean of dredge, more than you imagine possible. In their midst is a towering giant of a dredge, blood red from head to toe. You gather your things in short order and join a good many Varl, heading, or not heading, leaving the godstone behind. Oh, supplies. Four days and we get the far farthing yord. Hopefully that's the village just up ahead. Because boy, do we need supplies. Oh, hey, what's my morale at? A gaunt man and woman approach the caravan, hands held high. A word, friends, the man says. We are poor farmers, down on our luck. The woman hits him and says, We're outlaws, plain and simple. Ten of us, and we want to help you in a fight for some food up front. Uh, what are your crimes? Misunderstandings, the man says. Mead houses are confusing. Never know when you've drank your share. The woman hits him again and says, We've stolen, killed a few when we had to. Skills that might benefit you here. Join us, but you'll be watched. I think? That probably seems like a good idea. Um... Yeah, let's do that. The two quickly shuffle to a supply wagon as eight more bandits emerge from the wilderness. They gorge themselves on salted fish and cheese, taking time to thank everyone. After eating, they politely keep to themselves. Extra ten fighters, minus three supplies. Oh, that's only three supplies. But I think this is a village here. They're about to reach. God, I hope so. Please be a village? Yes! Okay. Oh, it's the same town map as the last couple times. Anyway, Ivor tells you, we can't stay here long. It'll take... three days... To cross Burra Pass, so stock up. There's no stopping once we leave. He takes off to speak with the other Varl about setting up defenses. Dad, says Alette, appearing at your side. I like to old Ivor. Somewhere in the back of your mind you feel the same way. You focus on preparations instead, realizing that you may be one of the first humans to ever set foot in Einertoft. Okay, mark it. So... We've got some items. I mean, the whalebone needle's kind of okay. The iron bands are definitely okay. Tistleberry, no. Loom of the loom, uh, comb of the loom mother would be interesting. The pad, yeah, they're all interesting, but I have zero interest in them. I don't know if I needed that or not, but we probably did. Okay, let's rest. Let's get morale back up to good at the very least. There we go. Okay, map market heroes. Wait, this doesn't matter. Oh, you know what? I want to take a look at that belt. What's this? Farthing Yard. Armor Break. Woohoo! That's good. Fortunately, nobody gets to use it yet. Eh, we'll get there later. Leave. But now we've got enough, uh... Now we've got enough renown to live for, uh, last the whole time. Plus, uh, some events and stuff. Hopefully that'll work out. Uh-oh. Bridges are never good. We approach a city that only Varl have seen and cross a bridge that only Varl could build. Let us hope that we are the only unwelcome visitors to pass. Okay. This is a pretty bridge. This is a pretty game, honestly. It's cool across the board. Why is Einertoft the one that... Uh... You know... Varls can't, uh, var only Varls can go into. Like, what's with the whole, like, no human thing? I guess they'll explain it. But yeah, I hadn't really thought about it. I, I thought the, uh, I thought the Varls were, you know, a normal race. But no, they're, I guess, artificially created, more or less, because there are no females. There's no mating. It's just Varls.
cool though. I like it. I love the adorable little walking animations of everybody. And there's a lot of women with babies, I'm noticing. Feels a little irresponsible to be having kids along the way here. But maybe that's just me. God, these mountains are pretty. Like, this is totally, totally, like, up my alley as far as, like, art style goes. I could probably do this with enough time <laughs> and effort. Okay. Well. All these warriors. Another great war is upon us. It is the third time I've seen such a thing. There are far fewer of us now than there once was. Krumer heads up the stairs to the Great Hall and returns shortly after speaking to some Varl. Ah. What did they tell you? By all accounts, the dredge are coming here. Looks like they plan to end the Varl for good this time. This place will become a killing field soon. They say the Prince of Men is here. They've got a mender, too. Prince Luden is here from Arborang. In any case, we'll be given no audience today. You remember the last time you were here, Ingvar? It's Ivor. Yeah, I remember it. What now? We find somewhere to rest. I recommend keeping your people out of trouble while you're here, Rook. In fact, keep them invisible. Yorinder won't be happy you're here. You're shown to quarters, but could wander the city while you're, you wait for an audience. You feel like you could sleep for a week straight. Okay. Well, we've got Heroes, Rest, Market. I'm going to look at the market, though it means nothing. Uh, well, we've probably made a good choice with the whole... Um, oh, wow, we actually lost a fair amount of supplies there, I think. Uh, Singing Stone, Will Per Kill, Will Per Kill, Dodge Strength Attacks. The Charm of the Wandering Mind is neat. But yeah, most of these artifacts... I mean, we're getting a bunch just by random events, so it doesn't seem really useful. kind of wish I could sell some. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's not rest for a while. Let's... Oh, maybe I have to rest. As you settle in, you receive word to come to the Great Hall the next morning. Uh, let's see. Ivor suggests not speaking unless addressed, and even then, keep it short. In your dreams that night, you see Varl Kings fighting with dredged lords. An ominous feeling lingers as you prepare to enter the Great Hall. Oh, oh, I see. We get, we get the map again. To the Great Hall! Okay. Enough evened. The bridge stands. Find some other way. Greetings from Wormtoe, Yorinder. I brought an ally. Who are these people? We don't have time for games. Wait, I know you. Ingvar, among us again. Is this what the end of the world looks like? Yorinder steps down from his throne to get a closer look. In the light, you spy deep wounds on the Varl King. It was my last option. You look like death, Yorinder. The sunder came from through Grofheim. All of them. Or we would still be there. A few thousand Varl remain. Bellower has been following us since Grothheim. That's what he does. That is what he does. What will you do? Remain. There's no better place for us than here. We will make our stand at Einertoft. Even if the even if Einertoft falls, the Varl won't be wiped out. Hakon is taking our best warriors to Arborang, as we were discussing. I'm not going, Yorinder. We're needed here. This is not a debate. A messenger bursts through the doors, cutting the tension. He says, A stone singer has been cutting a path across the bridge. Gods, can we not have a moment's respite? They should not be here already. A stone singer is with them. Let me bring down the bridge. As I said, it will buy us. I said the bridge stands, Mender. I say it again to you, the Prince of Men and the whole Mender Council. We were they here. Oh, so he'd say it again, if they were here. I will not say it again. Hakon, you go to Arborang. Evened. Do not touch that bridge. Am I understood? You are. Then I'll confront the singer myself. 
Nobody tries to stop even. But many follows he leaves the Great Hall. Okay. So, we got some options. The Metter walks past the great companies of Varl on the way to the bridge. A tall, thin creature stands there, two black spears over its shoulders, ringed by dredge. The Varl have backed away in fear. Even sta stops before the stilt legged figure. Suddenly, Ivor is beside you. Okay. So, honestly, we should probably help him. I wonder... How many, oh, I wonder how many people we get to bring into this fight. Hopefully, many of them. Anyway, look, we should help him. You expect Ivor to refuse, but instead, he locks eyes with you. Listen to me, Rook. You, he says, you will probably die here, and so will everyone else who steps on that bridge. Look at your daughter. Are you prepared for that? You're not doing this alone. I won't stop you, says Ivor. Fight like it's your last. You're not sure what to expect, but you draw your axe and soon find yourself standing behind Evend on the bridge, wondering if you made the right decision. Okay. So we don't have much of a choice here. Uh, Oh, hey, we get even. He's level five. Uh, I'd throw it. I'd throw it. Nice thing. Oh, hey, I just realized. Farthing Fjord can be thrown on on uh, him. What's this? Uh, yes. Okay, so we're gonna go here. We're gonna drop that. We're gonna go back. I forgot I upgraded him. Ha! Huh. Useful. Okay. So I'd love to put the God Code on him. I'd love to equip something on even. I'm just not sure if it will go away on me. What's he do anyway? He's a mender. He's a rank 5 mender, and he's got a lot of points to put into things. Cool. So let's see what his ability is first. Okay, Arc Lightning. Even pulls fire from the sky onto any enemy within range of 6. The lightning strikes each unit diagonal to the target until it runs out of units to hit. Each time the lightning arcs to a new target, it does adi one additional point of damage. Be careful not to toast your friends. Ooh, and Mend. Is able to quickly mend on the battlefield of uh, on the field of battle, restoring the armor of any ally within six spaces. Uh, half of his current willpower rounded up. Okay. So evened. I think that's a good setup. So let's go back. So I don't really want to put the God Scale on him for the drawing aggro. Gilan Ferry is probably a good idea. Okay, so we got Fasolt. Let's take Fasolt. I don't know if I want to take Eagle. He's kind of okay. Fasolt was good, right? Oh, well, I could promote him, but I don't have, <laughs> I don't have the supplies. Why does I have the plus? Oh, is that for mobile versions? I don't know. Anyway, Malice is good. He's a tough customer. Uh, I'd love to promote Ivor, but I have not been using him as much as I should. Okay, let's give him that, I think. Worst comes to worst, we, we lose it, and it's not the end of the world. What's this do? Oh, yeah. Let's give him this. Close enough. We lose it, it's not the end of the world, and hopefully it helps us a lot in this fight, because this is probably going to be a rough one. This is not as nearly as strong of a party as the previous fight. Okay. Oh, you can actually see them fighting in the background. That's cool. Wish it was a little bit more animated or something. Anyway, so... Oh. So this is the Stone Singer. Rupture. Wounded allies explode, doing strength damage equal to their remaining armor to adjacent units. Umbridge. Dredge allies lose two armor, but gain three strength permanently. So these guys are tough. Tough shits. Okay. I think this is a decent idea. You know what? Let's move him back one. So the nice thing is we got the mender, and we should be able to generate a fair amount of endurance this way. Okay, so who goes first? Stone Singer does. Then Ivor. Oh shit! There's more of them. I thought we were done. All right. You know what? 
Wait, 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 wait. He's got abilities. He's got art, art lightning. I'm a little loath to do this, but it would maybe help. Let's move up. Let's do arc lightning. If we do that, okay. Level 3, 4 strength, continues diagonal units doing 1 strength damage every time. That did not do nearly as much as I wanted it to. I would do great against the uh, Stone Singer next. I don't want to do too much, but yeah, the Stone Singer is probably a high priority here. Luckily, Dude himself is not exactly the most um, dangerous of fellows. So we move here. For better or worse, what we can do... Break his armor off. If we can take out the Stone Singer, a lot of his abilities drop. Well, a, a lot of the threat for this encounter drops. Okay. So we've got Rain of Arrows. I'm just gonna put it there. He's coming for me eventually. Sooner than later. And chances are he's not gonna go around it. Hopefully the ranged guys are in the back. Uh, let's see. What's her ability again? Oh, strike through. Well, that's not bad to use. We'll go around. I should have thought of this and left some space between the... between my giants. Okay, ow. Cripes. Oh, shit. And it blocked him in. I'm a dumb bunny. I trapped him. Oh, does that prevent his movement? It does. Hey. Okay, so let's try this again. Arc lightning. Here's hoping it goes in the right direction. That worked out. Mender. Oh, I actually killed the guy. Nice. Okay, so first, let's go around a little bit, leave, make a little bit more room. Then, let's bust off some armor. Okay, so there he is. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's summoning, isn't he? Okay, so how much damage could I do to him? Not enough. Fudge. So we can do three, one. So we move here. We can do damage, one extra. He's probably summoning something. Did that, oh, did that interrupt him? Nope, he's still doing whatever the hell he's doing. Okay. Like it one bit. Wait, if we just. Oh shit, we can't hit him from here, can we? Damn, we're so close, too. Alright, fine. We'll move. Let's take his damage down. I really don't know what, what he's doing, and it scares me a little. Okay, that's armor. That's fine. Let's move here. We've got this big guy. We can do at least some damage to him. Lots of damage to him. We'll go down soon. I'm just really concerned about whatever the fudge he's doing. We'll move forward. We've got Big and Tumble. So we could kill that one. Who's next? He's next. Let's take him out of the turn order. Okay. So here's my thoughts. We move forward. We do arc lightning on him. Max level. Go. If we're lucky, it hits all of them. Taking out the stone singer. Yeah, got him. Good shit. Okay. So we've, ta we've taken out the scary man. Batteram. I really wish battering ram was like just a legit charge or something. Okay, but we've taken out a lot of the main threat here. So, armor. We're probably going to lose Rook in this somewhere, but that doesn't prevent him from being a really good armor breaker until we get to that point. Let's keep take the, taking that armor off. I got enough will point, oh, willpower that I can start wasting it. 
curiously, this is working somehow. I don't know, this is <laughs> this is still an easier fight than uh, the previous previous one. Let's just do that. I'll save the willpower. I actually know I probably should have used it. Alright. Oh, hey, it's Fassel. I wonder if we get to use Fassel to on the next chapter. I hope so. Well, he goes down. I think he goes down. He, he looks dead. Oh, is anybody else looking injured? I guess we had the mender that we could have used, but... Whatever, man. Alright, let's do... Let's actually not do anything. The thing is, he's already a level 5 mender. So there's like zero... There's zero reason why I would actually want to, um... Kill anything with him. I used it earlier because it was important. But right now... Let's use the characters that we know we're going to be using multiple times past this point. Alright. There we go. Victory. Your renown grows. So, Ivor gets a promotion. And... Some amount of renown. The stone singer falls hard. A howl like a hurricane sweeps across the bridge. The dredge part like a black sea. From their depths steps a crimson behemoth. And a wave of sheer terror hits you like you've never felt before. Bellower. Get the mender out of here, Ivor hisses, and run. Your legs move, almost with a will of their own. Though you can't pull yourself away from watching what happens next. Cutscene? I'm feeling a cutscene. Oh, motherfucker. Um... Where can you move to? I'm gonna retreat a bit. Right. Are we not able to help in this fight? Okay, well, you know what? This seems like one of... God. Bellora's design does not look nearly as cool as most of the other enemies. Maybe? I don't know, I think it's just because they scaled one of these guys up with slightly different things. But they just it just doesn't look as good. Alright. Let's try and take off as much armor as I can. I see why they call him Bellower. And Yeah. This is not this is a scripted fight. Well that was fast. He did. You're now gross. Yay. Ivor rides in agony, his arm torn clean off by the Bellar's onslaught. The Sunder raises his weapon for the killing blow. Sunder, face me, screams an uncertain el- Evened. Stepping back onto the bridge, raising his staff high. Even from here, you can see his arm trembling. You feel practically frozen in place watching. <laughs> it's adorable and extraordinarily deadly. Even recoils in terror from the massive serpent that has appeared in the distance. Even the Bellower backs away. He leans in close to inspect the two armies, flicks its great tongue, and then indifferently lurches over the mountainside out of and out of sight. The dredge are a knot of confusion. Some cower, others crouch in what looks like worship. Hacken shouts orders above the din. Varl rush forward, bowling over surprised dredge, gaining ground. Bellower is receded back into the horde. Jorunder, y Jorunder watches from atop the stairs. Hurry, says even, suddenly pulling at your arm, snapping you out of your moment. You rush to Ivor, laying on the ground amidst the fighting, still breathing despite a missing arm, and drag him back into the city. I wonder if he changes classes after this, or we manage to somehow get his arm back on. Interesting question. I kind of want to know. Uh... Well, whatever. Let's talk to Even next. Seeing as that's important. Can you save? Yes, probably. Give me silence. Nearly three hours pass silently as Even plies his trade. Flesh slowly forms and closes across Ivor's torn frame. That is as much as I can do. He should make it. Thank you. The mender looks exhausted, leaning heavily against the bed. When was the last time you slept? A couple days ago? I'm okay. I just need to sit. Before you can catch him, the mender crumples to the floor. 